Hello, I'm Julie Scott at Facial Aesthetics here in Essex and um, I just want to talk to you today about uh, a treatment that we offer called cryotherapy using um, something called a cryo pen. Cryotherapy treats um, different skin, what I call imperfections. So it can treat warts, verrucas, something called amelia, which is kind of like a blockage of oils, which have gone hard. Um, it can treat something called solar lentigos, which are those little brown spots that people get. Um, we associate it with age, but people young can get them um, and they look like a little stain on the skin. Um, so yeah, a mixture of what we call skin imperfections that can annoy patients. Um, so it's a, a quick, uh, effective treatment for treating a mixture of skin imperfections. Cryotherapy, um, the treatment has been around for a very, very long time. Um, this device called the CryoPen is how we um, treat patients with cryotherapy. Um, and it's quite simple. Um, in this section here, it has a little canister with liquid nitrogen. And this is the end that the uh, liquid nitrogen comes out. It comes out at a high pressure um, and it's extremely cold. So essentially what cryotherapy is, is freezing lesions. So the liquid nitrogen is released through this end within a millimeter of precision. So it's very safe with a steady hand. And um, the ice shards actually penetrate the membrane of the cell within the lesion that you're treating. Um, and this essentially kills the uh, lesion itself. And that's how we get rid of things. It's quite a simple concept really, but incredibly effective. Um, cryotherapy, you're probably familiar, um, years and years ago in GP practices, they would treat with cryotherapy, um, but that was often with a much bigger device. And that's where the, the cryopen um, really comes into its own because it's so precise. We've got different tips that we can put on the end um, that allows us to treat small, tiny, tiny lesions through to um, larger lesions. So um, yeah, that's simply and effectively how it works. Cryotherapy, it depends on what you're treating. Um, if, for example, I'm treating a little uh, brown spot, um, solar lentigo or perhaps a milia, these aren't particularly deep. So our freeze times, the number of seconds that we freeze it for are short. If we're treating a verruca, which has a lot of nerves coming into it, yes, that can be a little bit ouchy. Um, and um, so it depends on which lesion we're treating as to whether um, it's uncomfortable. Um, but it's um, not dreadful. Um, it's cold for a few seconds um, and then straight away it disperses once you've stopped. So I would say that um, out of all our treatments that we offer cryotherapy is not one to be feared through pain. How long treatments take and how many appointments you would need totally depends on what you're treating. So for example, if we're treating, for example, a solar lentigo, a little brown area, well, normally we can treat those in just one treatment. We may need to top it up a little bit, but most times they'll go straight away because the melanin, the brown pigment in your skin, isn't deep. If we're treating a lesion, say for example, a wart on the cheek, um, they can take up to two or three treatments because if you imagine that's protruding on the surface of the skin and often how much that projection on the surface actually determines how deep your nerves go um, underneath the skin. So sometimes they can shrink and shrink and then go, um, but they can take anything two or three treatments. Verrucas, sometimes we can be successful from the, the, the first treatment. Other times they can take two or three treatments and can be very very stubborn so it really depends on what you're treating as to how many treatments um, and how possibly successful the treatment will be but that will be discussed at consultation and we would guide you and give you a gauge as to how we think that your treatment would go forward Cryopen and cryotherapy is a, a wonderful tool to have in your clinic. However, um, it could be quite dangerous in the wrong hands. 
Um, I see patients day in, day out with different skin lesions. And I think as a practitioner, you always have to remain mindful that um, you could be looking at something that perhaps is precancerous or cancerous. So as a practitioner, it's so important that patients understand that you will only treat um, if you're very sure you know what you're treating um, and that it's clinically indicated to be treated. So on many occasions, patients have come to me and said, oh, I don't quite like this. Could you just get rid of it? And I've looked at it and I have felt concern might be around irregularity of that lesion. It might be the appearance or the colour. Um, and with those types of patients, they definitely have to be referred on. Um, I always recommend my patients go and see one of my dermatologists um, and that patient may need biopsies. So um, I think before investing in any of this type of treatment, you need to know you're going to see somebody safe that is going to treat something that yes, is absolutely safe to be treated. And if in doubt, refer on and get that lesion checked out. So um, um, and good practitioners will do that.